And he said to them, Set your heart all of the set your heart on all of the words which I testify among you today, which uh, you shall command your children to be careful to observe all of the words of this law. For this is not a futile thing, thing for you, because it is life. It, it is your life, and by this word you shall prolong your days in the land which you cross over the Jordan to possess. Um, I was looking up a couple of words, and uh, um, the words uh, in Hebrew means when uh, the scripture says, put these words in your children, um, the word words uh, means speech. It's not uh, to speak them. It's not just uh, reading or uh, to yourself. The point of this is to speak out God's word, to speak it out. Sometimes we just read in our mind, my, uh, you know, mm, to ourselves, but not speaking out loud. So, but the word represents speak it out, speak it loud. And even the word meditate means to mutter under your breath, to talk to yourself. So when you meditate, it's not just you think it in your head, you speak it out. Mm -hmm. And uh, by studying, studying this, I came across the fact that the Word of God is a uh, two-edged sword. And that, if you go to find the translation for the two-edged sword, is two-mouth sword. It had the two edges. And also, um, what, what does it mean, two mouth, two edges sword, or two mouth sword? God speaks the word. We hear, and how the word of God take hold in us, uh, or when we pray and want God to work, how, how that take hold of our, in us, or by speaking back. That, that's what that means, the two-edged sword. God speak it, but it's not enough for him to speak it. We have to speak it back. For example, you want healing. You call the scriptures that talk. God already, it's in the word, it says, I will heal you, I will heal the land. I want you to be well, right? That's what the Bible says, the scripture says. But it's not enough to know here. And it, you have to speak it out. And um, and why should we speak out the word? The scripture also says, "By your stripes I am healed." We can't say it, but we have we have to mean it in a way that. And why should we repeat it? Is it just repeating it just because the word says? By by the action of us speaking it out loud, the seed of faith drops in our hearts. So when we speak once, we speak two times, we keep on speaking, then the faith gets hold and the seed brings out fruit. Okay. Also, uh, Proverbs, Proverbs 4.10, the word um, the same thing going to um, to see what the word words means also is give utterance speaking out loud and sometimes it is in our own experience you see how when you listen to a sermon when you listen to someone encouraging you it's almost like it's better to hear somebody say God will heal you mm -hmm. my faith and her faith even let's say She's not as strong today. But by me saying it, the faith, the seed of the word comes out. She believes it, and when she speaks out, and then God is faithful to his promise because he says in his word, he will heal us. And um, I got the understanding of the two edges sword from Hebrew 4.12. It's two miles sword. 
And also in Isaiah 55, 11, it says, God's word is not, it's not going to return void. How? He already speak it. We heard it. When we speak it out, and I was saying it just before, the seed of faith, the seed, the word in our heart, drops in our heart, and then it grows. You don't see it right away like the regular seed doesn't grow right away a palm tree. It takes a lot of a long time to grow a palm tree, right? But the seed is there, so it grows. It grows and we believe in today, believing tomorrow, reminding ourselves, reminding to every you know, keeping ourselves in prayer. Um, that seed grows and God is faithful to his word to do what he said he will. <coughs> Um, Proverbs 2 6 says, From his mouth come knowledge and understanding. God's mouth comes. So, again, when we speak it back, we utter, we, we mutter, we think on it, and also speak it out. And we believe it ourselves, and God is faithful. Um, I just read about a lady, um, you might know this lady. Um, she was uh, sick of cancer, and she decided to, to find Holy Scripture about healing. She wrote it down, and you know what I'm talking about? And uh, she starts speaking those words every day, the, those scriptures, speaking it out. God healed her. She's the mother of a well-known preacher, today's preacher. So, but she was very faithful every day to speak out those words, to read out those words. <coughs> when I was uh, going through this morning, um, I was thinking of uh, some of us, uh, we have family that is not safe. We would keep talking a, a, a lot of times, you know, how, how, how do we do that? We found the scriptures that talks about that God promised. If we pray, he will save our, our loved ones, right? And we call the scripture, and the Lord is going to work and heal us or uh, bring to salvation the ones that we pray for. Also in the time of uh, 39, verse 43, it says, he will provide atonement for the, his land and his people. Atonement means what? I look again. Atonement, atonement means uh, cover, purge, make reconciliation. You have a per, uh, legal right, pacify, and the word that I like the best is propitiation that in the in Roman 325 talks about he is the purpose I can say right propitiation for our sins so when 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 it gets settled in our hearts that he is our redeemer our uh, uh, our savior we believe it for our loved ones because he promised in his what he wants all the world to be saved so we bring it before the Lord in faith that He is going to hear and save our loved ones. Also, in um, in my study, I was looking at. Um, I actually heard somebody mention that. God, uh, what grace and mercy means. And um, grace, it was in a phrase, I can't say it well, but um, grace grants us the things that we don't deserve, right? And But mercy protects us from the things that we deserve. 
and I thought, God is so, when you say God is merciful, we know every time that the devil shoots some arrows or whatever, we claim him, we ask him to keep or protect us. His mercy is right there. And he don't let this thing that we do deserve, right? Don't let those touch us. That's his mercy. And his grace, he gives us the things that we do not deserve. And I have a couple of scriptures for, um, I was thinking also if um, um, we would want to pray or um, I have a couple of scriptures that we can quote for um, pray for the loved ones. I have someone in my family that is not safe. I know Sharon has, and you know, I'm assuming everyone has somebody that needs salvation and uh, we can pray. I, will, I, will, I forgot to bring a piece of paper, but I was thinking even, we don't necessarily have to say out loud, but if we want to write all between us, uh, the needs down, we bring it before the Lord and all of us, we can pray for them. And believing that the word said it, we believe it, and we're speaking back to God because He's faithful and He's going to answer our prayers. Amen. Amen. Does anybody have a special need that they 